so let's see uh, how to create blocks module next so let me clear this up first so in blocks module we normally put all of the layout related components currently we will do that so let's create first block uh, first block module which is ngg module and then uh, we'll call it blocks and then again we need a routing by default so let's put the routing module as well so this created under app called as blocks and blocks routing and blocks module like this so next what we should do is we should move the uh, app module also inside the blocks module because you know like app module sorry app module i said but not module basically component so we know that app component is singleton and it is a single uh, page that is always constant so it is always good idea to move all the app component related files inside the blocks module okay so what i'll do is i'll create a folder here called as a root folder and i can move all of these uh, blocks um, application related components here so i can move the app component app component.scss and app component.ts and their test file everything into root folder that way so now i don't see any component uh, lingering around at the root level so there should not be any component lingering in the hanging in the root level it is all organized basically so there should not be any component here it is organized into some certain module so right now it is mod it is inside the app module uh, blocks module and then if you go to the scss here we are <laughs> showing our logo right logo.png so this logo you can see uh, currently in our application right now i cannot see but it is breaking there is a logo there here going on uh, so so that logo path will now update so now i have to go to the assets little bit more i have to go to 1 2 and then 3 three. three uh, stage up to get the asset so right now it is one stage i can change it to second stage and then third stage then i see the assets so that we will update right and next we will do is we'll go to we'll go and get the uh, nice logo right now if you see the logo uh, control click this is our logo which is looking good however the problem is it is not looking uh, good for our icon purpose so what i'll do is i'll grab my uh, another icon that i have it in my uh, actual project that i created uh, sorry uh, that i put in my heroku so e-commerce if you go so i want this kind of icon the the small shopping icon so logo dot png this one so i can download this uh, save image as uh, same let's call it logo dot png and let me put it into my uh, source code folder so i go to the source code and product mart and uh, this goes under this location uh, assets folder so here you have a logo dot png i'll just replace it with this so that way i get that one and then this is the uh, the favicon thing that you can save it also so save image as and we can go to the uh, favicon normally remains at the root level so i can just say rename it to favi favorite icon kind of thing fab i con favorite icon and then save it so once you save it next you should see the new things here good so now we have our uh, theme shop theme okay so that is our next step is to uh, update this logo thing third step is to create the header component inside the blocks module so you know as i told you that app module app comp, app app dot html has right now those concerns and that we wanted to move it so currently our app module is under the blocks root app dot component dot html so i'll take take out the entire header part of it and put it into the uh, put it into the header component which i'll soon create inside the blocks module so in order to create the component what is the command in angular cli so let's write that command so command let me clear up this command is ng generate component and then component name could be header right so if i want to put this header inside the blocks folder i'll just put the blocks first and then slash header and since this is a component 
which is just the header part of it, I don't want the test cases to be generated. So I can skip the test. So for skipping test, this is the command that you write. Uh, this is the flag skip hyphen test flag that you pass, right? And when it runs, it just creates the components without the test file. So you see under the blocks, it is creating these headers, but there is no test file created. So whenever you don't need it, you just do that way. So this is created here, right? So next step is to move the, update this app module and remove the app component declaration uh, import blocks module in the app module. So later on we'll go and update this header. What we'll do is we'll go to the app module and see here we had initially uh, inside the app module, we want to remove first, since we are going to the app component here, you see this is the header part of it, right? So this header part, if you remove, then you need the uh, header from somewhere, from the header component, right? So in order to do that, you have to import the blocks module. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll show you the block module first. Then you know. So in block module, see header component is, here it is import, it is a declared thing, right? So one thing we should do is we should just export this header component from this uh, block module so that you can import it into the app app module. Because in app module, we used to show the header part of it, right? Like here, in app component, we used to show the header. So now if I want to take it from uh, blocks module, so I have to import the block module. And as I told initially that block module has to be imported only once. So if I go to the blocks module, it has to be imported only once. It, uh, we cannot import multiple times this one. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the app module and here I'll in import the uh, block module, blocks module. And if you go back to the blocks module, make sure that you are exporting those uh, components. So let's go to the blocks module. Here we are declaring this header component and we should also declare the app component because we just moved the app, mod app component as well, right? App component we moved, right, under the root folder. So those two components we also have to export. Just copy it and put it into the export. Blocks module, app module, please consider moving app mod app component to a higher, higher module. So let's remove that. Go to the app component. Here we'll remove the app component declaration, right? Inside the app module. Because it is already declared in the blocks module. So it should now fix it. So what I'm saying is since uh, we have to fix it, this, uh, this responsiveness thing, so our plan is like like this. See if this one project, if you see, if you go out, it is showing like this. And if you go little like a mobile size, if I, it is a mobile uh, application size, then basically it should look like this. Like you click and product should come here. And then when you click, it should go out. And then when you logged in, there is no name here. But if you are in a um, iPad or like this, then you should see the name and you should not see the menu here. And then products are directly here basically. So those changes we are pending to do that. So what I'll do is I'll skip for now because uh, we can update that later on. So I can just uh, check in till here so that blocks is, at least block module is created and header component is there, but we are not using it. We will use it soon. So I'll check in up to this much. So created header uh, component in the blocks module. At least we created blocks module and then uh, we registered block module in our app com app module and we removed app component declaration from the app module and we put it into the blocks module. That's our major thing we did. And we also created header component, but right now we are not using it. We'll use it soon. So our next goal is to create the core module. Okay, so let's do that next.